Welcome back to our YouTube channel. If you are new here, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon to stay updated with our latest content. So you want to dive into the exciting world of ethical hacking? That's awesome. Whether you're completely new to cybersecurity or just looking for some cool projects to level up your skills, you've come to the right place. In this video, we're going to explore the top 10 hacking projects that are perfect for beginners in 2025. These projects will give you a taste of what it's like to think like a hacker, but for good. Remember, ethical hacking is all about using your knowledge to find and fix vulnerabilities, making the digital world a safer place. We'll walk you through each project step by step so you can follow along and get some hands-on experience. By the end of this video, you'll have a solid foundation in ethical hacking and be well on your way to becoming a cybersecurity pro. So let's jump right into it. All right, let's kick things off with a classic password cracking. Ethical hacking is about responsible disclosure and legal activities only. Password cracking helps understand how hackers break into systems. Techniques include brute force attacks, dictionary attacks, and rainbow tables. We'll break down each technique so you understand them. This project highlights the importance of strong, unique passwords. You'll see how easily weak passwords can be cracked. Tools like Hashcat and John the Ripper help you practice safely. Use your powers for good, never to harm or exploit others. This project shows how vulnerable weak passwords can be. You'll become a password pro, securing all your accounts. Ever wonder what happens behind the scenes when you're browsing the web or sending an email? With network sniffing, you can see all the data packets flying around your network. It's like having X-ray vision for your internet connection. We'll be using a tool called Wireshark. It's a free and powerful network protocol analyzer. You'll see the source and destination of each packet, the protocols, and the data. Identify different types of traffic, spot anomalies, and see suspicious activity. Network sniffing is essential for any aspiring ethical hacker. Plus, it's just plain cool to see the internet in action. Let's talk about SQL injection, one of the most common web application vulnerabilities out there. Now, this might sound intimidating, but trust me, it's totally doable for beginners, and it's a crucial skill for ethical hackers. SQL injection is all about exploiting vulnerabilities in how a website or application interacts with its database. You see, websites often use databases to store information like usernames, passwords, and other sensitive data. With SQL injection, you can trick the website into revealing that information by manipulating the data that gets sent to the database. Don't worry, we'll show you how to do this safely and ethically. We'll be using some basic SQL commands and tools like SQL Map to demonstrate how SQL injection works. You'll learn how to identify vulnerable websites, craft your own SQL injection queries, and extract data from the database. The goal here is to understand how these attacks work so you can prevent them. Remember, with great power comes great responsibility, so always use your knowledge for good. Phishing attacks are more common than ever, and they can be incredibly convincing. In this project, we're going to turn the tables and learn how to create our own phishing simulations, all in the name of cybersecurity awareness, of course. We'll dive into the psychology behind phishing attacks, exploring the tactics that attackers use to trick people into giving up their personal information. You'll learn how to craft a believable phishing email, set up a fake website that looks just like the real deal, and even track who falls for your clever traps. Don't worry, we'll be doing all of this in a safe and controlled environment. The goal here isn't to actually steal anyone's information, but to understand how these attacks work so we can better protect ourselves. You'll be amazed at how easy it is to create a convincing phishing campaign. This project is a real eye-opener and will definitely make you think twice before clicking on any suspicious links or attachments. Key logging. It might sound a little creepy, but trust me, in the world of ethical hacking, it's all about understanding how these tools work so we can protect ourselves. A keylogger, in simple terms, is a piece of software or hardware that records every keystroke you make on your keyboard. Now, before you start panicking, remember, we're all about ethical hacking here. We're going to learn how to create a basic keylogger and use it in a controlled environment to understand how it works and what kind of information it can capture. You'll be surprised at how much data can be collected just by recording keystrokes. From passwords and credit card numbers to personal messages and search history, a keylogger can potentially expose a lot of sensitive information. But here's the good news. By understanding how keyloggers work, 
we can learn how to detect and prevent them. We'll discuss different types of keyloggers, how they can be installed on a system, and most importantly, how to protect yourself from becoming a victim. Wireless networks are everywhere these days, and while they're incredibly convenient, they can also be vulnerable to attack if not properly secured. In this project, we're going to dive into the world of wireless network hacking, exploring the different techniques that attackers use to gain access to Wi-Fi networks. Don't worry, we'll be doing all of this ethically and legally, focusing on how to identify and fix vulnerabilities in our own networks. We'll be using tools like Aircrack Nang to demonstrate different wireless hacking techniques such as WEP and WPA cracking. You'll learn how to scan for wireless networks, analyze their security settings, and even attempt to crack their passwords. Again, the goal here isn't to steal anyone's internet or cause any harm. It's about understanding how these attacks work so we can better protect our own networks. We'll also discuss the importance of strong Wi-Fi passwords, network encryption, and other security measures that can help keep our wireless connections safe. Social engineering is all about hacking the human mind, and it's one of the most effective ways for attackers to gain access to sensitive information. In this project, we're going to explore the fascinating world of social engineering, learning how attackers manipulate and deceive people into revealing confidential information. We'll delve into the psychology behind social engineering attacks, examining the different techniques used, such as phishing, pretexting, baiting, and more. You'll learn how to recognize the signs of a social engineering attack and how to protect yourself from becoming a victim. Remember, social engineering preys on human emotions like trust, fear, and urgency. We'll discuss how to be more cautious about the information we share online and how to verify requests for personal information. Vulnerability scanning is like giving your systems a thorough security checkup. It's an essential part of ethical hacking and helps identify weaknesses that could be exploited by attackers. In this project, we'll be using tools like Nessus, a powerful vulnerability scanner to find potential security holes in our systems. Don't worry, we'll guide you through the process step-by-step, step, showing you how to configure Nessus, run scans, and interpret the results. You'll be amazed at the amount of information Nessus can uncover from outdated software and misconfigured settings to more serious vulnerabilities that could allow attackers to gain control of your systems. The goal here is to find these vulnerabilities before the bad guys do. Once you've identified the weak points, you can take steps to fix them, patching security holes and strengthening your defenses. Exploit development is where things get really interesting. It's the process of creating code that takes advantage of a specific vulnerability, allowing you to gain control of a system. Now, this is advanced stuff, but don't worry, we'll break it down into manageable chunks. We'll be looking at basic exploit development techniques using simple examples to demonstrate how exploits work. You'll learn about buffer overflows, shell code, and other concepts that are essential for understanding how exploits are created. The goal here isn't to turn you into a black hat hacker, but to give you a glimpse into the mind of an attacker. By understanding how exploits are developed, you can better anticipate and defend against them. Remember, knowledge is power. And in the world of cybersecurity, the more you know, the safer you'll be. So you've dipped your toes into the exciting world of ethical hacking and you're ready to take your skills to the next level? That's awesome. Getting certified is a fantastic way to solidify your knowledge, gain credibility in the field, and open doors to incredible job opportunities. One of the most recognized certifications in the industry is the Certified Ethical Hacker, or CEH. The CEH exam covers a wide range of ethical hacking topics, from reconnaissance and footprinting to system hacking and social engineering. It's a challenging but rewarding certification that can really boost your career prospects. We'll discuss other valuable certifications like the OSCP, GPEN, and CSP, each with its own unique focus and requirements. Earning these certifications demonstrates your commitment to ethical hacking and makes you a highly sought-after candidate in the cybersecurity job market. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Let us know in the comments which hacking project you're excited to try first. See you in the next video. Remember, ethical hacking is an ongoing journey of learning and exploration. 
The more you learn, the better equipped you'll be to protect yourself and others from cyber threats. So keep practicing, keep experimenting, and most importantly, keep your skills sharp. The world of cybersecurity needs more ethical hackers like you, so get out there and make a difference.